We've got a potentially amazing penny box hunt for you guys today. And I want to thank Dom's Coins for this bank sealed penny box from New York. Now, before I get into the hunt, I want to let everyone know that Dom's Coins reached out to me and wanted to do a trade. And he said he opened this box and saw that it had a lot of wheat and Canadian cent enders and thought it'd be fun for me to hunt on my channel. Now, he's retaped it and this is exactly how I've got it. But I'm looking forward to popping the top with you guys, taking a peek inside and seeing how great this box could be. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. And as I said in the intro, I'm super excited about getting into this box. Before I do, please check out Dom's Coins channel. I'll have a link to it both down below and I'll even pin it up here. He's got a new coin roll hunting channel and he's part of the community, so it'd be nice to support him. That being said, I also want to thank him for even allowing me the opportunity to hunt this box. He sent me a picture in the email and it looked like we had a handful of wheat scent enders, some Canadian scent enders, and a bunch of other copper enders. So I'm curious to see if we can find not only wheats and Canadians, but maybe some varieties and other goodies like some Indian heads. And I didn't just jinx it this time. All right, you guys know what we wanna do. We wanna get this box opened up and I don't have my trusty knife near me. So I'm just gonna use a trusty screwdriver here and just pop this open and see what we got. I want to thank Dom for making sure in shipping he packed it well because uh, nothing's more frustrating than expecting a box and having it be loose rolls all over the place. Let's see if I can pop this open really quick without having to stop the camera. We'll have to see. This is a tough one. All right, I might, I might have it if I open it on the right side. I don't know if I did. All right, we got it. Maybe. There we go. Let's see what we got on this side. Yep, there we go. Weed scent ender, weed scent ender, weed scent ender, weed scent ender. And then we also have a couple of Canadians back here. I see two right there and another one right there. They all seem to be on this side of the box. I don't know what the other side looks like, but we've got one, two, three, four, Wheat scent enders for sure, and one, two, three, four Canadian enders for sure. So we know we got four wheat scents, and we know we got four Canadians, but what else is in here? Let me push this back. Let's begin the hunt. Let's crack some rolls. We're going to start from here and just zigzag our way back and forth through the box. 50 rolls to hunt. I'll bring you guys in on my very first find, and we'll see what it is. Roll number two of the box, and we have our first wheat scent going to be a 1942 Denver to kick us off. I will also make mention that I'm expecting a lot of Canadians based on the Enders and it being from New York. So I'm only going to bring in the Canadian sense if they are a Laureate portrait, which is the young head or earlier, like one of the KG fives or sixes. Just wanted to make mention of that. And I will give periodic updates on the amount of Canadians we find throughout the hunt. Roll number three, got our second wheat scent already reverse facing. And that's a 1946 Philly. And we do have a dirty one here. And I think that's a wheat scent. That is an old slick wheat scent. Will there even be a date? I think it says 1945. No, maybe 1948. Yep, 1948 Philadelphia. I'm glad we got a date on that one based on the reverse. I didn't think we would. But our third wheat scent is a fire damaged 1948 Philly. Three wheat scents, not even done with three rolls yet, all from the 40s. Roll five in our first Canadian of the box that we have unveiled is going to be a young head. 1963. Getting ready to put the camera down in the same roll right behind the Canadian is a 1944 yeah, 44 wheat scent. Wheat scent number four. Roll number six is gonna have two more wheat scents. I already saw a damaged 44 again in the front. Wheat scent five. And wheat scent six I have not seen yet. 1958 Denver, last year Weedy. 
Roll number seven is already gonna have another weed scent and it's gonna be number seven of the box. And it looks like if we're gonna have a lot of weed scents, they're gonna be 40s and 50s. It's another 1944, our third best one of the three that we have found. And um, I could probably go through this and maybe pick out another one if I look long enough. But I guess my point is that I will still continue to film all the 40s and 50s weed scents. But if there's a ton of them, then I might give you some wrap-ups every two or three rolls. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, let me get back to hunting, and I'll bring you guys back in on the next find. We're on roll number 10, and roll number 10 happens to be one of the wheat scent enders. So let me get into it, see if there's frienders, and what year that one is. I did a quick peek. I didn't see anything else at first glance, but the wheat scent ender, wheat scent number eight of the box, is another 1944. Four 1944s out of the eight wheat scents found. Roll number 11 is also going to have a wheat scent ender, and I think it's a damaged 56 Denver. Let's get into it. That wheat scent ender is a damaged 56, and it might have a Denver mint on it. Well, not, yeah, probably, but we'll never know for sure. Either way, wheat scent number nine. Roll 12, another ender. That wheat scent ender, 1956 Philly. Same roll, and wheat scent number 11 is another corroded one. And it looks like it's 40 something. This one is a 45, 1945 Philly, barely. Same roll, and we've got a dozen wheat scents. Will this one be older than 44? Oh, and it is. 1910. All right, this may not be a 40s and 50s wheat scent dump. There's no way they would have missed that 1910. It's not in the best shape, but it's got good toning and it's got a decent amount of detail, at least on the Motto Liberty and 1910. We'll take that all day. Can't get mad at finding a 1910 111-year-old wheat scent in the box and number 12 of the hunt through 13 rolls. Roll 14. Wheat scent number 13, a 1956 Philly. Roll 15, wheat scent number 14, 1951 Philadelphia. Roll 18, wheat scent 15, another 1956 Philly. Roll number 20 is going to have our sixth Canadian of the box, but this time it's another young head, so I figured I'd show it to you. And it's also a 1963. Roll 21. Another young head. From 1964 this time. Roll number 22. And we're back on the Wheaties because we've got number 16 right here. 1947 Philadelphia. Roll 24. Wheat sent 17. 1953 Philly. Roll 26, wheat scent number 18, 1942 Philly. We're on roll 27, and there's a few more wheat scent enders coming up shortly, but I bring you in because wheat scent number 19 was second from the end. And that is a 53 Philadelphia. Same roll, wheat scent number 20, 1934 Philly, and we'll just check it for that extra strike on the front right below the three and the four and i don't see it in this shot so i don't think we have it but either way a 30s wheat scent in this condition is always fun to find in the box rule 28 has that wheat scent ender and we actually have a canadian a canadian another wheat scent i won't show them prior to the film but when i open up the roll i'll bring you guys in on this one though i did film it prior and I'll bring you in. Wheat sent 21 of the hunt. Another 1944. Roll 31 had a Canadian ender, and when I flipped it, it's a young head. So figured I'd bring you in for it, and it's definitely going to be a 1962. 1962 young head. Young head number four. Or laureate portrait of the box. The wheat sent ender in roll number 32, wheat sent 22, is going to be... A 1952 Denver. 1952 Denver. And I think I saw another one somewhere. 
Yes. We'd sent 23, same rule. A 1953 Denver. Same rule, and I've got a 61D under the scope, and you can see it's an RPM. We've got a second D that is rotated. Looks like counterclockwise below it, and then they had a clockwise strike above it. I'll have to look and see which one that is on Variety Vista, but I've shown this one before, and I know I found it before, but I figured I'd show it again just to show you. We've got an RPM in the box. Always nice finding RPMs in other varieties, and it's in decent shape to boot. It is brown, but it's a nice one, and I'll take it. Roll number 34 and Canadian number 15 will be another young head. 1962 again. Well, roll 36 is going to have a dandy. It's been a while since I found one of these in a bank rolled box, and we've got one. Saw it peeking out right there. That's an Indian head scent. And it doesn't look too bad on the reverse. No S mint marks. It's not going to be a key date unless it's prior to 1880. But let's take a look at it. And you know what? It's prior to 1900. And I'll take that. 1896. Legible date. Does have some corrosion. But I will never get upset at having an Indian head scent in the box. I've only found a handful of these in circulation. Other than in customer wrap rolls, of course. 1896 Indian Head scent. What a beauty. First of the box. Will there be another one? Roll 38 is going to have a beautiful weed scent in it. We'll take a look at this blazer. 1957 Denver. Wow. That is a thing of beauty. I will not get mad at that. And it is our first red blazer of the box. Didn't expect to find one, but happy that we did. 24 weed scents. A variety and an Indian head scent. 12 rolls left. Roll 39 is going to have another Canadian scent, but I'm showing it because it's another 1964 young head. And I think that makes 6, 12, 18, 23 Canadians in the box. Six of them being young heads. Roll 40. Weed scent number 25. 1956 Philly. Just grabbed roll 42 out of the box and flipped it around and we have another weed scent ender and I think it's a 57. Let's go ahead and crack into it, confirm it, and see if there's frienders. Weed scent 26 confirmed, 1957 Denver. Second one from that year, but the first was a blazer. Roll 43 is going to have a couple of weed scents and it looks like a young head as well. Let me go ahead and grab the weed scents. This is number 27 of the box. And it's going to be a 1950 Denver. Weight scent 28 is a 1952 Denver. And Laureate Portrait or Younghead, number 7, 1964. Roll 45 is going to have wheat scent number 29. And that's a 1948 Philadelphia. Same roll. Another old Canadian scent here from 1964. Roll 46. We finally hit that 30th wheat scent of the box and it is a 1917. I could tell by the reverse it must have been old but you never know. And it is a 1917. It's a common year and it's pretty worn but always good seeing a second wheat scent from 1910 through 1919 in the box. Will we get another wheat scent or two before the hunt's over? Roll 47, wheat scent 31, 1956 Philadelphia. Same roll, and we're going to have a couple more wheat scents because I see one right here. A 1948 Philly, wheat scent 32, and wheat scent 33 will be a 51 Denver. Rolls 49 and 50 both have Canadian scent enders, and this is going to be another young head. I won't show it unless there's something else in the roll, but another one for the collection. Well, we finished that box, and again, Dom's Coins, what a dandy. I knew when you popped the top and sent me a picture saying it'd be a fun hunt, it was. That being said, we ended up with 33 wheat scents, 17 from the 50s, including that 57D Blazer, 13 from the 40s, 1 from the 30s, which was that 1934 in decent shape. We got zero from the 20s and two from the 10s, if you will. We got that 1910 and 1917, both Philadelphia. 
We also got that RPM 1960D, and I'll flip that up and assign the correct RPM number to it. We just haven't had the chance to look it up yet. We also got that Indian head scent. It's been a while since I found one of those and one before 1900, so I'll take it, 1896, with some corrosion. We also got 30 Canadian cents, nine being the Laureate portraits, which I have up top, 62, 63, and 64, nothing older than that, and then 21 regular Canadian cents post-1964. We also got four 1959s, no RPMs or DDOs on those, and a handful of beautiful copper cents, seven of them, 64D, 68P, 69D, not the no FG, 70, 70, 70, and a 71, not the DDO. No 69Ss, and honestly, pretty much no S-minted cents in this box other than a couple of beat up 68Ss and a few 70, 71Ss that I decided not to keep. We almost filled the Copper Cup as well. What a great hunt. I want to thank Dom's Coins once again for being generous enough to share this box with me. You're right, brother. Fantastic box. I don't know if you knew it'd be this good, but with all those enders, we knew it was going to have quite a bit of Wheaties and quite a bit of Canadians. We didn't know it was going to have an Indian head scent. We didn't know it was going to have a blazer. And we definitely didn't know it was going to have an RPM either. I will say that I thought I would find either a 95 DDO or one of the wide AMs from 98 to 2000. I scoped so many of those coins and there was a ton of 92s and 84s in this box, but none of them were the varieties. Hopefully you enjoyed this penny box hunt from New York State. I know I did. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.